I'm Matt Bichard here in New York City for NARICH REIT Week, 2018 Investor Conference. Joining me today is Chris Constant, President and CEO of Getty Realty. Chris, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. What impact is Getty Realty's new debt rating likely to have on your attempts and efforts to grow the business moving forward? Sure. Uh, very pleased with our new debt rating. Uh, reflects the company's history, repositioning, and growth. So we're, we're obviously thrilled to be in this position. I think the big impact for us is that it will open up new sources of capital, maybe longer term maturities, and over time, we'll eventually see a lower cost of capital. And you talked about the repositioning. For uh, folks that may not be as familiar with the company, how, have, how has it been transformed? Sure, uh, the company was an original opco propco split uh, back in the late 90s. Uh, so at one point in time, we had all of our revenue coming from one tenant. Uh, that lease was restructured, and we've subsequently sold properties and repositioned the remaining portfolio with new tenants. And then we took the proceeds from those dispositions and reinvested in new portfolios around the rest of the country. Great. Now, uh, speaking around, uh, about where you've reallocated those assets, which geographic markets appear most attractive to you right now? Well, the history of the company is primarily Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, and then more recently, we've been expanding in the West Coast and then Southern U.S., both in the Southeast and Southwest. We certainly still like all of those markets, both our, what we call our legacy markets in, in the New York and Boston and D.C. area. And then more recently, the, the deals we've done out in the West Coast and uh, the markets sort of in the Southwest. Texas in particular is one that we, we just invested in in April. Uh, so we certainly continue to like those markets um, and can see ourselves investing both in our core and some of the newer areas. Um, with that said, we, we're a company that doesn't feel we need to be in all 50 states. So being in 30 today, I th we think we're represented in many of the major markets and, and perhaps there's one or two more, but we're never going to be a, nation, a true nationwide 50 state company. And lastly, what's the outlook for M&A among your tenants and how does that impact your business strategy? The convenience store industry is still highly fragmented and there is a significant amount of M&A occurring amongst uh, small chains uh, and, and regional operators who are selling out to some of the more national competitors. Uh, and in particular, we've had, we've had tenants uh, merge, right? Uh, um, I think that the real benefit uh, on the operator side of our, for our tenants is that there's true economies of scale, both in terms of supplying convenience goods, purchasing fuel. Uh, so there's real synergy in terms of M&A. When you, when you look at our portfolio deals that we've done uh, over the last seven, eight years, almost all of them have come out of M&A situations. Uh, and when you see a, uh, a mid-tier company being acquired or even a smaller chain being acquired by a mid-tier company, uh, our sale leaseback product and our financing vehicle really fits well into that capital stack. Uh, I think more recently what you've seen is we've been more active um, and, and as we become more active and, and uh, you know, our, our tenants see us kind of looking to acquire in certain markets, uh, that, that certainly benefits us and should lead to more opportunities going forward. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. For more from NARI's REIT Week, be sure to visit NARI's website, REIT.com.